Hello everyone, Sheriff Mark Daniels here. As we conclude 2023, I want to talk a little bit about our achievements in 2023 and just kind of give you a quick summary of where we've been over last year and beyond. 12 years ago, uh, you elected me as your Cochise County Sheriff and I had three objectives, organizational development, community outreach, and border security. I want to start off with organizational development. That's the backbone of who we are. The men and women is my first priority within the sheriff's office. They're the ones that go out every day, put their lives on the line to promote the Cochise County Sheriff's Office mission and the vision. And that starts with a culture. Our culture is built around the community standards and expectations that you all expect of the Cochise County Sheriff's Office. A couple of things I want to talk about is the pride in ownership. The men and women that serve the Cochise County Sheriff's Department have great pride in the ownership of this office and the ownership of their communities that we call home too. We also have 100 volunteers that serve under the Sheriff's Assist Team or the Search and Rescue Team and some other capacities within the Cochise County Sheriff's Department. So a staff of 370 some that share that culture, I couldn't be prouder with this mission, this office. One of the components I want to talk under organizational development, one is our regional communication center called CECOM, Southeastern Arizona Communication Center. We have grown that center to bring all 911s into one facility, faster, more efficient, more effective ways to address your emergency in your time of need. I'm very impressed with CECOM, our dispatchers, our communicators over there, the leadership over there, and the partnership with our public safety, fire, police, and EMS throughout Cochise County. And one thing you're going to see in 2024 is statewide interoperability. If I have a deputy in Phoenix, Flagstaff, Kingman, they can talk directly back to Cochise County in their time of need. They have direct communications. That is remarkable. So again, we're on the cutting edge of that. We implemented in 2023 our mental health team, a doctor, three experts to work alongside her to address early intervention for mental health, but also to address mental health and public safety. We were fortunate working in partnership with the Legacy Foundation here in Cochise County to bring this into a reality. So on behalf of Dr. B and her team here at Cochise County Sheriff's Office and all our public safety partners in the community, that is a true asset for those in need. And thank you for that innovation work in that. One of the things we're very proud of here at the Cochise County Sheriff's Office, and this is the leadership within the Sheriff's Office, we have been able to secure over the last 12 years over $100 million. And these are mainly through private and state grants and awards. These funds have helped us develop and initiate programs that make you safer. To develop programs, to buy equipment, to provide resources, to put interdiction, to add more personnel are all ways that we're addressing the expectations and needs of Cochise County. And I'm proud to announce we have aerial support, both our drone program and also a new helicopter we called Hawkeye, which the community named. And so we're proud to have that up there in the fact that it helps in search and rescue, helps with our failed to yields, our pursuits, and any other aspect of law enforcement. And that was a $9 million grant set by the state of Arizona. Since I've been elected 12 years ago, one thing I've worked very hard on is the rule of law and doing what's morally, ethically, and legally right. And that's under the rule of law. That's my oath of office. And we can take that approach when it comes to how we enforce the law, how we educate the people, and how we prevent under the awareness component. When we can bring in over $100 million to offset cost, that is something that you, the taxpayer, does not have to worry about. So thank you to my team for working so hard on that. I'm very proud. Over last year, we passed our jail district. We will be building a new jail here in Cochise County, which is a quality of life issue as we push forward in 2024, 2025, and even 2026 as we move this new jail into a reality. And the detention officer and staff that work within the jail, their safety is paramount to me, and having that new facility supports that. The other aspect I want to hit on is the many hours of standardization that we've put in, which includes trainings, graduations from our academy, our homegrown academy with partnerships with Cochise College Service to Police Department. I'm so proud of that. And the many promotions and people that have progressed through the ranks to be leaders within this organization to help me lead this sheriff's office into the future. Community outreach is the second objective. One of the highlights, the Cochise County Sheriff's Office Charity Ride with partners from American Southwest Credit Union and Lolly's Automotive Group. 
We just finished our 11th year with the charity ride. This year we gave out $50,000, $10,000 per charity. Schools, veterans groups, animal groups that make a positive difference. And we wanted to be part of that. We have worked hard to be a household name here in Cochise County when it comes to who is the Cochise County Sheriff's Office. It is your Cochise County Sheriff's Department. From events like Cars for Kids, the numerous parades, the Career Technical Education Program, which we're a big partner in that, and overall school safety. From providing radios to every school in Cochise County to make sure they have a direct link, Navigate 360, a new technological program that's going into every school to include Fort Huachuca that puts public safety right next to our educational facilities to protect the kiddos here in this county. Thanks to Jackie Clay, our school superintendent that we work so close with. I want to move into border security. Border security has been a huge issue. That was my third objective 12 years ago. Sadly, over the last several years, we've taken a slippery slope approach toward border security. Not us, but the federal government when it comes to, I call it intellectual avoidance and abandonment with intended consequences. The intended consequences that we're seeing here in Cochise County has not been a quality of life promoter, as we all know. We've stood up, the mayors here in the county, the police chiefs, the troopers, and our local board of agents that call this home too, have worked close together to unite for the good of this county. We've had several programs, Safe Streets, Safe Streets 2 was just implemented to address those that come here to commit international crime, those that promote international smuggling, these criminal cartels. We have made them a top priority here in Cochise County that has endangered the citizens and placed vulnerability in every community here in Cochise County. So under public safety, national security, humanitarian, the Cochise County Sheriff's Office has led the way to address these issues and under our Safe Streets program, I couldn't be more prouder to what we're doing here. I truly believe what we're doing in this county is untouchable compared to others. We have a new border operations center to address border issues from, again, the three objectives, but public safety, national security, and humanitarian. That's a state-of-the-art facility. It's going to be opened up in January of 2024. Our new border center, by the way, we're going to be announcing that, the Oleski Center, named after our deputy it was went through a harrowing event to include his brother, Josh Oleski, who works for the U.S. Border Patrol. Both these individuals served in the, the military honorably, and now are serving our communities here in Cochise County. As I close out this message, I just want to say thank you to all of you out there for your support, for those who wear a badge. We came through a trying time here last several years, all the scrutiny on law enforcement, but what didn't waver was your support for us or our support for you, because that's a shared, respected relationship that we share that most agencies and most communities can't brag on. I'm bragging on it right now. Every three years, I do a survey within my office, absent COVID, and a blind survey with the team members, the staff, to say, how am I doing? I just got the survey back several months ago, and the first question that we ask is, do you like working at the Cochise County Sheriff's Office? 99.5% said, I like working here. Only half a percent said no. I can say I'm very proud to see that. And thank you to the men and women for allowing me to lead them. And thank you for this community for allowing me to be your sheriff. Happy New Year's, everyone. Let's make 2024 a great year, an innovative year, and another safe year here in Cochise County. Thank you.